everyone. Welcome back to my channel, JRC Restoration Decor and Designs, and my name is Phyllis. Today's video, I am sharing with you two DIYs that I create to put in my powder room, which I am decorating for spring. That video follows right after this one. But first, let me share with you a clip from my Amazon haul using a scarf to be the first DIY project. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. That's my plan. We'll see how it works. And I'm going to create some wall art with it. And this wall art, I plan to have it in my bathroom. This has some splash of pink and also has that blue that's in there. These are the art pieces that um, I had in my bathroom. This is the original art piece that goes in it, a shoe. And I did three of them. I took this scarf and I've already cut it up and pieces and I focused on the pink roses that's in it. And I've already done what I covered it, covered a piece of cardboard. And I got another one here. Okay, so I took it apart and I wanted to show you all, I didn't have a white mat so all I did was took, and this is velvet, all I did was flip it. And this is the shoe that was originally on that one. But I just flip it and do it like that. And what I did is I make sure a butterfly and a rose was showing because you know butterflies come out in the spring and summer. So all I did was I took what I did and I flipped the mat over and this is what you get. So you see a butterfly there and a rose. Okay here they are. They turned out so nice. I did not really expect it to work because the fabric is so thin on the scarf. But I am very pleased with this DIY wall art created for something from something that I've had all the time. Now what's coming up is I fast forwarded a video showing you how I'm creating my own DIY night lamp using a vase and some acrylic paint. Here, um, I'm showing you the vase, and this vase uh, my daughter has, she purchased from Walmart several years ago, but I'm using the Floetrol and these three acrylic paints that I shared with you all in the Amazon haul. I'm putting everything together in this vase. I did no kind of measurement whatsoever, I just guessed it. Um, I'm loving the way it's looking when I start out, but you'll see when I show you the finished product, it didn't stay with the marble look, which I wished it did. I'll be sharing with you a glass bowl that I purchased from the Dollar Tree that kept this marble look. I think when I sat the vase up, the paint just started dripping all down, straight down, so it lost that style. But I love it, and here comes the finished look. So here it is, all completed, and I wish the marble effect here would have stayed, but it didn't. Um, I'm just guessing because it sat up, and the paint started flowing. Here it is, you'll see where it's starting to go away. So coming up now, I'm gonna show you how I put the vase, turned it into a night lamp. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put my DIY vase together. And I'm basically, not vase, but lamp. I'm basically just making this as a night light or night lamp. Um, this is the little part that holds a tea light candle that I your store about four years ago. What I did was I took the two napkin rings, glued them together, and then glued them to the bottom of that. Just using um, the glue gun. An old candle jar. I'm going to put glue at the bottom of this and glue it to the inside of that to hold that. And what this napkin ring holds, it holds the neck. And I had to bend these back in order for the bowl to fit in there and the bulb sits perfectly inside the napkin ring. And I think I've showed this before. And that's so that I can um, take the bulb in and out without any problems. And then now what I'm going to do, because here's the vase. I don't want this sitting in here like that. I want it to sit on top of this mirror that I got for the Dollar Tree, so I'm not gonna permanently glue this either, but I'm gonna put glue around this here to glue on top of that, 
and it will sit on top of the vase. And then I will put the glue on these three parts to attach to this. Okay, and there it is. And like I said, I'm gonna put this, I'm not gonna glue it because I don't want it It wouldn't be permanent if I did, so. And that's what it looks like. Now go over to video number two to see how I styled these DIYs in my powder room for spring. Again, I thank you for stopping by.